terrible black knight appeared. Let's start this list off with the big baddie himself, Barnak, the Black Knight. He is the main antagonist of Hype the Time Quest, and though I don't have any footage because I'm not there yet in the game and I'll have to watch the LP to see the fight in the end, it is really a visually stunning and really cool battle. And it shows up like he's the really the big boss of the game. He really you use everything you've learned up to that point to beat him. And it's hard, it's difficult, but um, in the end, hype prevails, obviously, and gets revenge on the Black Knight that sent him into the past 200 years. But just the fight really captures all that we've had to go, go through in order to beat him, because we've been through 200 years in order to beat this, this guy. So it's really cool. The Black Knight is called Barnak. He is a god who was banished from our kingdom. Now, he wants to create his own kingdom in your world. Number four is Senecal in the Field of Courage. Uh, this fight is in order to get Senecal's weapons in the end. And it is just a cool fight in the Field of Courage where it's a, like an amped up version of the Gladiator. Senecal jumps around and hits you with his hammer, with his weapon, his single weapon, not his weapons, he only has one. And just like beating Senecal in the end because he's been so snarky and he's been so like, I'm better than everyone. So beating him in the end and doing that final blow, it just makes you feel good. You're kind of like, yeah, take that bitch. And so yeah, Senecal is number four. And he's awesome. And yeah. Fall off at the end of each action. I really must fasten this armor onto myself before the Black Knight comes. Number three is Armored Enost. Once again, I do not have footage because we're waiting for that because it's kind of spoilery. But um, Armored Armored Enost is a really cool fight because of how like odd it is. And how you think, like, when you think Hype the Time Quest, you don't think a wizard who made weird science-y armor for himself with a metal cape, and he shoots stuff at you, and all electric-y with his robot voice and everything. But the reason I put him so high on the list was kind of for personal reasons, because Enos, throughout the game, has some of the best and funniest dialogue, in my opinion, in the entire game, and it's so uh, awesome. And just the fight is just so funny, and everything leading up to it is so funny, and I just love it. No, 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 this time is too much! <sighs> calm down, calm down now. Let's start again. Nothing's impossible for a brave heart. Be patient, Enos, you'll soon have a brand new body. <laughs> The three-headed dragon from the treasure room in the field of courage. This is the coolest boss on this list, in my opinion, because it is a freaking dragon made of gold. Now, in the old, like, Nordic or, you know, that kind of tales, dragons were on statues in order to protect gold and treasure. So, like, combine the two and you get this amazing idea of a dragon made of gold. And I just love it. It's my favorite, um boss design in any game ever like number one it's my favorite boss design like really the fight's really cool too how the first um part is of the two little heads and the last part is of the big head the only thing they give you that magic before um the focus magic or ring and it kind of makes the fight a little easy because it does so much damage to them and um and it, it's a ring, so it goes everywhere, so you probably hit them every time if you time it right. So, uh, yeah, this is number three, the best boss design so far out of any game, I, I think. So, yeah, the three-headed dragon from the treasure room of the Field of Courage.
pretty much everyone voted for this guy to be number one. The antithesis of virtue or dark hype or shadow hype or whoever you want it to be. Uh, the impact knight, the opposite of hype. Um, this is, uh, if you watch my LP, I had a little bit of a hard time with this guy because he's pretty tough. But this is just a cool battle. He's just, he does all the stuff hype does. He does more than hype does because he's, uh, he's got, um, more magic than hype does at the, at that point. And he just goes around and he's got a lower voice. And it's just a really cool fight once you finally beat it. And it's just really awesome. So, yeah, Antithesis of Virtue is number one. Woohoo!